Let's flash the new, uh, the older firmware. Now I'm going to start this. You can see this is the procedures. I'm going to have this uh, open because yeah, I'm kind of scared about everything. So let's get it started. Now I'm going to start this. It will sync up with the GitHub um, repositories and it will sync everything. Now device sync finished. Now it says me, it says I have to click this button which says flash device. So I have to select flash mode to actually flash the new um, device. So yeah. Now I have got my firmware here, the first firmware, the firmware which I copied into here. So it will show all of this. Now it says that following is what it's, it's uh, shown. So yes, it is what it is shown. Uh, red, that is this one, is where I select my firmware. Content is um, will display the firmware content, everything. It has a lot of stuff. Pretty cool. It does have everything. Uh, now green shows wipe what all will be wiped uh, apps lock cache and data will be wiped so everything probably will be most mostly everything will be wiped now exclude exclude option this is to exclude content like kernel or basement from flash from flashing but i don't want to exclude anything so just leave it miscellaneous also just leave it now what i need to do is click flash in the flashing preparing files for flashing now while flashing it will ask me to uh, connect my device in flash mode now what is flash mode in flash mode it will um, it will ask me to connect powered off device while holding volume down to PC so I have to connect my phone using the USB cable so let's just wait for that so now it is asking me to unplug the device power off the device press the back button or well in this case press the volume button volume down and plug the USB cable. So I'm going to do that. Uh, oh, hope you guys can see that. So I'm going to press the volume down and I'm going to insert the uh, USB cable into the USB uh, plug. And it is showing me that it is flashing data. So I'll be uh, giving this loose. So yeah, it is now flashing into my phone. That's pretty cool. Now let's wait. So guys, it is now finished. So it sh it says flashing finished. Now please unplug and start your phone. Let's see if it is starting. I'm going to unplug my device, and I'm going to start my device. Let's see. So that is it with this tool. That is the flash tool for now. Uh, that is done. So let's just delete that. Oh, let's just. Keep that aside now what we need is this one which we'll get to in a minute so it seems that the update was successful so it is working so that is a nice thing uh, let's now just go and go ahead with the other processes now it says start your phone don't make any initial setup because it's not going to stay because if you are going to upgrade to the latest version it is not going to stay so yeah start the phone don't make any initial setup skip it go directly to setting about phone tap seven times on build number and developer options will be activated so yeah let's start developer options now let's go to settings about phone so you can see the build number is nine three so yeah that was a good thing so let's uh, unlock the developer setting and enable what we need to enable so developer options enable USB debugging that's the first one we need to enable so yeah and allow mock location so that is here allow mock location that is also enabled now what else go to settings we need to go to settings uh, security and enable enable 
um, unknown sources and verify apps has to be dis disabled so we are going to install the super sue app now enter your phone in flight mode so i'm not really sure how necessary that is but i'm going to do it anyway because i want to okay so we are ready to root our device now what else do we need to do now here it says gif root routing tool v3 extract the files so i have already done that um connect your phone to the computer let's connect it now so i have connected my computer the device to my computer so you can see experience z3 has been connected uh it's going to work probably so yeah after connection install uh, start install dot bat so let's start that uh yes i'm going to open that up it is open daemon not running starting now daemon started to successfully waiting for devices okay if any message on the phone until the moment you connect to the pc via adb yes i haven't connected to pc because i have just enabled that so i'm going to click okay now it is detecting my device it is going to send the files running exploit please wait for the device to reboot so i am seeing something running on so i'm going to ex uh, allow my device to reboot let's see so it has rebooted on its own so let's click any key to continue it is now rebooting you can see here my device is rebooting that is a good sign let's see it says uh, device not rooted so yeah it seems the first try was not good enough let's see if it will work again let's see um first of all i want to check if my device is actually rooted because there were reports of people actually doing this and still not getting it to work so i'm not really sure if that is the case uh let's see so it seems it was not rooted in the first try let's try it again so yeah let's try it uh install bat it's going to select it's going to install the daemon it's going to run yeah it has d detected my phone already and it is trying to run the exploit let's try to reboot it again So guys the second try actually did make it so you have uh, it shows you done you can now unplug your device enjoy root so that is it the device is now rooted so that is pretty awesome now how to how do you know the device is rooted uh, just go here probably it, it was supposed to be here but it's not it's here so it will show you super su script and it's installed so yay that is awesome so you have all of these working now you can do whatever you want with this i mean you can do the, go just play around with the root and stuff like that i will be making another video about uh, this with to install the recovery of z3 with lock boot, bootloader and also to update actually i am a, i'm kind of uh, not for updating to the 77 version of the firmware because that was really really bad because the 77 version of firmware um has a very bad battery drain issue and also it's not very optimized i mean I'm, i was having a lot of stuttering issues and stuff like that i might uh upgrade to it but that will be based on the time so yeah i hope you guys like the video please share subscribe and like the video if you found it useful see you guys next time bye